Hey guys, my name is Azaria and welcome to my channel. Today I have my May June Pennywise haul for you guys. I went to Pennywise in Trinity Mall yesterday. I really wanted to go to the Pennywise Plaza in Chagonas. I love that Pennywise. It's huge. It's like a it's like a grocery, but the traffic and time constraints, I couldn't make it to Shogunas. So I just stopped in my Twin City to try to pick up as much items that I could have gotten off of my list. <sighs> my bill came up to $400. It feels like every time I go Pennywise, I cannot stick to my budget of $250. Like maybe... <laughs> I will actually challenge myself one of these months to stick to my 250 budget and see how best I can manage with that. But I guess, you know, I really needed some of these items and I also really wanted to try out some items. So I have to pay if I want to try things, right? Okay, so the first item on the list, I actually don't have it. It is the Dove Men Plus Care soap it's i think it's the four pack or the two pack that i got it's for my boyfriend he already came and took it with him so i don't have that for you guys to see but that is definitely on the list and that was 31.95 these next two items were just a gift bag and tissue paper for the gift bag i have a little token slash gift from one of my co-workers for her birthday so I needed to get a bag and some paper so I can wrap this up and give it to her because it's long overdue. I need to give her these items. And the bag was $6.95 and the tissue paper was $11.95. Next, I just got some antibacterial wipes. So this is for my van. Sometimes when you're on your road, you just need something to clean your hands quickly when you're eating or if you get some kind of strange something on your hands you can never have you can never go wrong with having antibacterial wipes they just come in so handy in your vehicle so i definitely needed to restock on these and these wipes were 8.95 next item is my birth control i use lindenet and this was 35.95 the next two items are my smell goods i always have to restock on these the first are these febreze car air fresheners this is in the scent april fresh it's very floral i personally like to use the orange one but i just wanted to try it out and see how this scent kind of works it's very floral but uh, we'll see we'll see i kind of like fresh clean scents in my environment but uh, i just wanted to try something new so i said let me pick up the pink one in the april fresh scent and this was $53.95 for the pack of two. Next, I have my Glade plugins. This is in the scent Blooming Peony and Cherry. This is a new scent for me. I have not tried this one as yet. And this is also very fruity and floral. I wanted to try something new and, you know, I guess I went with the fruity scents this month. And this double pack was $64.95 for the Glade plugins and this usually lasts me about two months because I use, depending on how, what setting I have my air freshener on, it can last a month, maybe three weeks, depending. So it will last me for the next two months. I also needed to stock up on razors again. I usually just get the pack of disposables, the pack of 10. This is not really the brand I usually go with, but it's what it had on the shelf and I really wasn't feeling to go up by the cash registers. So I got this one. And it was $11.95 for the pack of 10 blades. I also needed to get more eyebrow razors. I usually always get the pack of three for when I am cleaning up my eyebrows and just maintaining grooming and stuff like that. These last me a very long time as well, so I don't really buy these that often. I maybe use like one every month and a half or so. So yeah, so these definitely last me a while. And it was $9.95 for the pack of three blades. Y'all know every once in a while I need to pick up some lashes and I have an event coming up so I need to get some lashes. This is the color lashes that I picked up this time. It is just everyday glamour. Just saying everyday glamour. I don't think there is a name for this one. I wanted a more natural finish because I didn't feel to look like a bird flying away. 
sorry so i got a natural finished looking one and this pack was $17.95 for these lashes I also needed to get a new pack of makeup remover wipes. I use the Color Collagen brand. It's just very handy and I also like how thick these wipes are. They're not thin and flimsy like some other brands that I've used in the past. So I've been purchasing the Color recently and they've been doing the job. I don't really wear makeup that much anymore. So these last me a while when I buy them. And this pack was $19.95 for a total of 30 sheets. So yeah, so definitely needed to repurchase these and restock on these. I also just picked up this small nail glue. I do get my nails done every month or so, but sometimes, you know, I get a little bit of lifting at the corners and it causes just extra breakage and stuff that I don't need. So I thought I'd pick up some nail glue so I can always just sort that out at home until my next appointment. And this was $4.95 for the small bottle. I am finally getting to show you guys the pink Dove deodorant set that I get. I fell in love with this scent. I really like the green one, but I've been loving the pink one recently and I'm finally getting to show you guys. This one is pomegranate and lemon and this one is calming breeze. The spray was $16.95 and the solid deodorant was $26.95 and let me tell you, great, great combo, great combo. The next thing I picked up is this brush. It's by Diane, popular brand for accessories and stuff like this. This brush was $11.95 and I needed to pick up an extra brush for my vehicle. Sometimes when I wear my hair out and I'm ready to put it up, I have nothing to smooth my hair with in the van. So definitely needed this as a travel item and something just to keep in my van to have handy when I needed it. This next item is the Philips Milk of Magnesia. This was $24.95. It is the small bottle and I picked it up to use as a primer underneath my makeup. Usually I would use the Calamine Lotion, but I wanted to try the Milk of Magnesia because I know it is used as a primer when you want your makeup to last extremely long. So I wanted to try it out and see how it would work. I have an event coming up, like I said, again. So just wanted to see how it will last and how it would work for my makeup. And the last item that I got is this John Frieda Frizz Ease Moisture Barrier Firm Hold Hairspray. This was $48.95 and I picked it up because I wanted to get a hairspray to use to set a style. I want to try some curls and some flexi rods in my hair soon. So I needed something to hold my hair in place and hold the curls in place. I went into Pennywise aiming to get the olive oil hairspray, but they were all out of stock. So I just got the John Frieda. I know John Frieda is a reliable line sometimes, depending. So I really hope that I can count on this to hold my hair and that it would do the job that I wanted to do, but I really wanted to try the olive oil one. But John Frieda is what I got. So that brings me to the end of this video. Those are all the items that I got in my recent Pennywise haul. Not much, but just restocked on some items that I needed and also picked up a few items to try as well. So yeah, so I will see you guys in my next Pennywise haul. Hopefully I get some more hair stuff, some hair goodies to try out as well. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give me a big thumbs up if you enjoy this video and content like this. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.